Hey guys, it's me Josh from TechZone, and I'm going to show you the laptop. This is the motherboard of the laptop, and it looks a little bit like a PC. And I'm going to go over the central parts and what you really need to know when you get to use to your laptop or computer. This also helps when you're using computers because you get a little bit base down view. What I've got here is a broken mold uh, Advent uh, laptop. Um, all the parts here I, I'm going to touch are, are all going to be destroyed because they are all unfunctional. They've all been just not none of these are one from one computer. I've literally just grabbed all the spare parts I have around the house and I'm going to show you what they are. So anything I do with them, don't criticise. Oh, oh, you should be holding the CPU in this way. It's just because it's broken. So the first part I'm going to show you is something you probably are quite familiar with: is your hard drive. You've probably heard of this before. This is where all your data goes and your operating system goes on. This is just a small version of a hard drive connected normally into by this. And what you'll see here is a SATA power and SATA connector. The SATA connector uh, transfers your data and the SATA power transfers your power to power this hard disk. So it's quite small and it looks a little bit like your 2.5 inch drive but a little bit smaller. So the next part is the power and how it connects into your computer. So this is your ports for them. So you've got again starter and starter power. Next part is the CPU cooler. On a laptop they look a bit strange so you're gonna have to know what you're looking at. What this is here, this is your CPU cooler connected with a copper pipe with some thermal compound on the bottom. That is thermal compound and you've got a little fan here. So when you you're looking for the CPU, it's a good uh, idea to know that this connects to the CPU, this big copper area with your thermal paste on. The next bit is the CPU itself, obviously known as the brain of the computer and you'll know because it'll have some thermal compound on and word of note, you'll know it's also one, and if it does come out, you'll know you have this little gold triangle here. I'll show it with the just here, and that indicates where it has to go in, so you can safely put it in, so it can operate properly. So just going to take it out now. On the bottom, you'll find yourself some gold pins. These connect to your motherboard and let the computer do the brain work. Obviously don't put it in the wrong way because you'll know it is in the wrong way because it won't go in. So, it's so normally to the left and just give it a little tap. And here is a locking screw but I can't, I've only got one hand at the moment so I haven't got a screwdriver around on me a flathead. The next part is called the GPU or the graphics processing unit. And that is normally on a laptop next to your uh, CPU and it's if you can guess it's this here small little die make sure you don't scratch that because that's how it contacts with your CPU cooler and cools down the graphics card and this gets quite hot normally depending on what you're uh, doing with the laptop this processes all your graphics and makes them to the standard that you see on your laptop so if you've got a crap laptop uh, graphics you know that you've got a crap uh, GPU the next part is called the battery. The battery is located right here. Most people think it's a huge battery, but this is just to power the motherboard. The, bat the external battery that goes into power the lot, this just powers small processors. So you need to know about that, so if it does break, you can replace it. The next bit is called the Wi-Fi card, or um, made by Rawlink normally, and it's here and when it's uh, screwed down it will be screwed down like that and you, it won't pop up but when it is it will pop up and it comes out like that and it's quite a small card green PCB and it looks a little bit like RAM which I'll show you in a second and how you uh, place it in slowly go in it only goes in one way because it's got a slot 
push it in and, and screw it down. The last part is called the RAM, or also known as random access memory. RAM here is, if I can get it out, here we go. That looks a little bit like the Rawlink card, uh, but a little bit bigger, and obviously has that slot. So when you put it in, you know exactly what, where you're putting it. Um, what this uses to when you're doing multiple applications, this depends on what you can do. So you, if you've got, as I've got here, I think it's one gig from a laptop, it's not going to be very, uh, very sufficient to do multiple processes. And uh, there are different part, different types of uh, RAM, uh, such as G, uh, GDR2, uh, which is his, and that's quite an old bit of RAM. And the newest kind of RAM is called GDDR4 and GDDR4. No, 3. That's me, guys. That's Josh from TechZone, logging out.